Alessandro Rossi and Alessandro Spadoni. And we are from Technics Blue in Rome. It's uh, nice to be here for uh, our second time in SAP Insight Track. And uh, for this reason, uh, we thank SAP Italy and uh, the main organizers, uh, Sergio Ferrari and uh, Ivan Fenn. Today, we are showing uh, an example of integration between uh, ABAP and uh, WebSocket. Um, uh, using a, a project uh, uh, created in uh, Code Exchange. It exists uh, a wide uh, range of possible scenarios. Is, uh, in this case, uh, um, we are showing uh, an example of an uh, application scenario using NetWeaver Business Client and uh, SAP UI5. We are talking about uh, HTML5, and uh, for this reason, uh, during the during uh, the presentation, we want to use uh, Microsoft PowerPoint slide, but uh, the, the HTML5 slide with uh, Revial JS. And now I give uh, the floor to Alessandro. Thank you, Patricia, and uh, good morning to everybody. Um, in this slide, uh, we can find uh, the WebSocket definition. WebSocket is uh, a new technology that provides a bidirectional connection over the TCP. So, uh, using WebSocket, we can uh, establish a permanent connection between server and uh, other connected client. Let's do an example. Uh, we have a web application uh, where the client needs to get real-time data and this data um, frequently changes. For the reason, uh, um, AJAX is not always the right code, and the, the right choice, um, because uh, we can do a, a lot of uh, AJAX requests to get uh, the real-time data. Using WebSocket instead, it's the server that direct uh, sent the messages to all the connected client when the, the data is uh, changed. On the slide, uh, what is uh, Pusher? Pusher is a software as a service platform. It's a simple uh, hosted API for quickly and easily adding real-time uh, functionality using WebSocket to web or mobile apps or uh, any other connected device. Um, how do, how do it works? It's a simple uh, publish subscribe model based on, on channels. And uh, every channel combined, combined events. There are uh, three types of channels, uh, public channels, uh, private channels and present channels. Both private and presses need uh, an authentication mechanism that uh, Patricia will show, he will show you later. What is uh, ABA Pusher? ABA Pusher is uh, an SAP code exchange project for publishing uh, messages from uh, ABAP using uh, the Pusher REST API. In this way, we can push real time messages from ABAP to any other connected clients um, that have subscribed our channels. Um, Pusher provides many client libraries. It's a good thing. Uh, we, we use the JavaScript client, but uh, there are uh, many other libraries uh, like Objective-C, um, Android, uh, Accelerator, Ruby, Arduino, a lot of uh, client libraries. So, uh, Apple Pusher is a server library for, for Pusher. How it works? Uh, the main class is uh, CCL Pusher. Uh, to create an instance where there are three mandatory parameters. The API key, the secret key and the app ID. Because uh, we must create uh, an application, a new, uh, a new application uh, uh, in Pusher website. The trigger method have uh, the, the channel name, the, the, event, the event, 
and the message that uh, that we want to to push uh, to, to all the clients. The message can be in any format, but uh, push recommends JSON. Uh, we can create a JSON string, uh, JSON strings in an easy way using the JSON document class, uh, JSON document class program by Uvfetz. So we use uh, the the JSON document class. Now let's see a demo uh, using a public channel. We have uh, a simple uh, ABAP program will trigger a message and the message will, will be received by all the clients connected. We have uh, two, two clients, a Chrome desktop client and uh, a Safari iOS client. Both the client will, will receive our message pushed by the ABAP stack. This is uh, the parameter message, uh, the channel name, and uh, we have a red button, my event, and my alert to the, to decide the, the, the event. This is the creation of the instance, and uh, the two event. Triggering my event, we will have uh, the message directly to the client. We can see it from desktop, on the console, that uh, the WebSocket connection is okay. And now see the second one client is uh, iPhone uh, Safari OS. It's the same jQuery mobile page. But, but jQuery mobile page are connected to work WebSocket. So uh, trigger in my event, the message uh, will be put in uh, the input field uh, in the jQuery mobile page. This is the JavaScript part the instance of pusher, the subscribe of our channel, uh, the binding of, uh, of the event, my event, and with my alert will have uh, an alert uh, JavaScript uh, pop-up. So, uh, execute uh, the ABAP program, we write uh, hello Milan, the message will be pushed to, to both the clients, in real time. So we can change the, the event with my alert in JavaScript part. Alert is binded with a JavaScript alert. We are at submit, and uh, the message will be received another another time with JavaScript pop up. So uh, thank you. The, that's all. Once again, Patricia that uh, will show a present channel. This is a public channel, so with uh, no authentication here. Patricia will show the present channel that needs uh, uh, an authentication to uh, the server, to the upper server. Thank you. As uh, the following slide, uh, the authentication is uh, possible through um, an AJAX uh, request to prefer the URL. This uh, happens when uh, the channel name starts with uh, private or present. The, in this picture, the authorization flow is uh, uh, well represented. Now we will see the present channel. This uh, consent to create uh, application has a chat room um, where you have uh, the possibility uh, to see who is online. Uh, present channel uh, events are push subscription succeeded. This event um, uh, allow to initialize a list of um, uh, member in the channel. Push a subscription error. Uh, this event uh, is used to return uh, error. Uh, there is an error on authentication. Push a member added. Uh, this event is fired when a member um, enters in the channel. And uh, push a member removed. Mm, 
This event is fired when a member leaves the channel. Okay. Um, this video uh, shows an example uh, of this channel. We have uh, implemented a chat room in a business server page with ASAP Wi Fi library loaded in the system using RZITA then ICF parameters as Mr. DJ Adams shows in his blog. Okay, um, this is a, a typical home page of a network business client for um, custom uh, business server page is uh, contained in a web info chip uh, with uh, other elements uh, like uh, Google Gadget, Google Chat API and uh, Twitter Gadget. Below we have um, a classical text field to enter the messages um, and uh, at the right a list of um, channel members. We open a new browser and uh, logging uh, LMSC user. When uh, LMSC user enters in the channel, uh, we, we see the message into NetWeaver business client. Okay. Pirossi uh, user. Uh, send a message uh, that will be received by all uh, chat room members. In this case, uh, um, we have uh, only two members. Okay. Um, uh, when a uh, messy user uh, close, uh, closes uh, the browser, uh, we can see um, a message into a business server page um, okay the message close the browser And uh, in uh, the business server page, uh, we see the message uh, LMSC left as left uh, in the room. Okay, that's all. Uh, for further details or information, uh, we we will uh, you will find uh, our presentation in uh, SAP Insight Track Week page. The chat mail page, so we will uh, insert the link in the week page. What are you going to call exchange? So, Abba Pusher is the featured project this month. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> <Three. laughs> Thank you. Got a couple of questions. Um, uh, first is Is this WebSockets uh, kind of a cloud service? I mean, uh, when, yeah, when, yeah, you, when yeah. you push data from the Abox side, they're going to the cloud and then to the clients. Yeah, uh, because it's for us is a, a, a more easy way to to share our solution. So we can use a cloud, the cloud service, but uh, we could use also a not JS server, uh, a non server using not JS. Uh, there are uh, plugins as uh, socket uh, IO, but uh, cloud server is uh, a quick a quick way to use a uh, web socket. Okay, but I mean in a productive in a productive environment. I mean the the, the web socket uh, um, architecture could be owned by the, the customer himself. I mean, it, yeah, it yeah. Have to be on the cloud. Uh, yeah. For that for we, I, I think we can. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> uh, I think we can use Node.js. That uh, it's cool for uh, for this kind of uh, application. Okay. It's just JavaScript on the server, not Node.js. Sure. And the other question is, um, uh, there was mentioned something about WebDepro. 
A computer chip, well, computer chip is uh, uh, an iframe, uh, a, a wrapper, a kind of wrapper where uh, we can uh, we can link uh, um, HTML classic page, uh, BSP or other HTML gadget. Okay. So in the, in the welcome page, uh, we have used a web computer chip, but the, the code is a classic HTML and JavaScript. So it's uh, a proper to to insert uh, the the frame in uh, in business client. Okay. It's worth in chip. Uh, I think uh, uh, since uh, seven zero uh, two. Uh, I I think I don't remember. Okay. That's why I never tried. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.